Hello everybody, welcome to another weekly look ahead for F45 trading. Uh, this week is going to be for March 19th to the 23rd, so I'm just going to open up and discuss the uh, US dollar, uh, where I think it's headed uh, for the uh, upcoming week. It is Sunday right now, March 18th, the time of the recording, so I'm uh, looking forward to uh, ahead to uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday's trading and trying to capture some of the levels and pick the uh, bias direction um, of where I anticipate price to head. So uh, again, we're going to be discussing the, the US dollar index, the pound dollar, uh, Bitcoin, and uh, a little bit of crude oil and I'll just kind of skim through the commodities I don't think there's gonna be a lot there right now that I like um, although I will talk about one real quickly um, and I don't want to take too long I'm gonna try and wrap this up in about 15 minutes so try to keep it short and sweet here um, the one issue I am having though and I'll just show you right now here and this is sort of why you have to have a few um, different sources of your data just to verify I'm gonna show you something here so I have two demo accounts in front of you uh, uh, sorry I do now um, one here and the other one here look at my US dollar index just maximize this a little bit and minimize this one just a wee bit okay so you can kind of see what I'm doing here so what we've got here is we've got the same price levels coming into here into this consolidation the one thing we don't have though is the same price action here and here um, and I'll show you so obviously you can see this price is at the same level it's at 89.84 and this is at 89.85 so within a pip uh, which is typically what different data feeds and different brokers and things will be it'll be close within a pip or so uh, but you can see here price is down here on this one and price is way up here on this one you can see the difference so you kind of got to <laughs> rely on a third source now to figure out which one's correct and it did it to me on this one here so you'd think that this one would be the correct one as uh, and this is the correct uh, candle and where the candle should be right now uh, just above Friday's close and you can see here it's just above Friday's close but you can see this candle is way below uh, this big bull candle here which is right here so for whatever reason the um, uh, the candle on the 16th of March they have it drawn at the bottom here of, of this bullish candle so I don't really know what's going on with this feed here um, but this feed here now it did it back here on the uh, what is this March 5th you can see price dropped and gapped into this area here and it's missing basically these two um, bare candles right here these two down candles completely missing on this feed so they've got this one big bull candle and this next candle here but they don't have this one which punches up above this old high here so again if you're not seeing something consistent on the chart or you're seeing something like this something weird or something like this a gap always 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 verify with a third source so the third source I'm going to use I'm going to bring it over here it's just um, barcharts.com and you can see here indeed that the price is above this candle here so this is the correct price so what that's going to mean is that this is the correct um, I mean the price is correct obviously um, they're both at 89.85 um, they're actually both at 84.5 now interesting and actually this you can see here is at actually at 89.87 so it's a little off but again within a couple of pips so that is acceptable but um i'm gonna have to work off of this chart for right now um on this one i'll flip back over to the other one for the um other pairs that i'm looking at uh sorry i just again i just another example of why you got to double check all the data feeds that you're getting just to make sure you're getting the correct price so we're still in this consolidation nothing really much has changed from last week um, however price is breaking up nicely um, to the upside we finished up on the week and basically uh, tagged this high here we just took out the high 
by about 89.92.5 and the high is 89.91 so by one pip this high got it here on Friday uh, and it looks like it wants to keep posting higher here so far uh, so what I'm going to be looking for is price to run up now this is where that other chart would come in handy um, I'd like to see price run up and try to clear this high here again and uh, and, and run up and, and, and take these two highs out so um, if we come back over here so the high here only comes in at 9061 but the high actually indeed is um, comes in at you know, I'll just do this here make my life easier right about there about 9087 um, give or take so I'd be looking forward to see if price gets above this level here uh, sorry we are above that level right now um, if we convincingly close above this high here then I'll be looking for the highs up into here uh, to get run again and we could be in for higher prices um, if they don't want to break through this consolidation and come lower um, than, than these two candles down here, then we're going to continue higher. Now, there could be short-term bullishness. I've been discussing this for a very long time on the U.S. dollar index, and this would be your low here um, at 88.90. That um, would basically tell me that we're going lower. So if, if price breaks this and closes below, like, I'm going to get on the chart here. below this then we should start to challenge these lows down here and maybe even a continuation to the downside um, however they may not have run these highs enough uh, again there is another area at the bottom of this consolidation area that i'd be looking for price to return to um, right around this area here so they may be looking for those because there is a, a price did reject so I'll, I'll run back over to this one now um, you can see those are those are the same highs there oh, i'm sorry that's not right Let's zoom out one more these are the same uh, levels uh, as over here and I'd be looking to see if price wants to run this high here uh, then I think we'll be looking for uh, the highs up in here the, the lows up in here to get tagged so um, that's what we'll be looking for this week if price does continue higher uh, again I apologize for jumping back and forth but I have two completely different data sources on this uh, data feeds and we're gonna have to go off this one because this is the correct price here uh, but I am missing that one candle up here for God's sakes uh, which drives me crazy so that's why I'm switching back and forth um, but again that high came in at um, 80 what was it sorry one second I'll just flip back for a quick sec um, high came in at 9087 so we'll just call it 90 about there um, so if price convincingly breaks that and closes higher than that then we should come up and test into these highs it is a long ways away um, and really price has to get above these highs and close above these highs and I'd be actually looking for a break and retest um, so I'd be looking for something like this um, a run a run higher and then a failure or an unwillingness to come back down through into the bodies of these candles in this consolidation um, a bounce and then a continuation up to potentially this area here so we'll see how that pans out for the week um, but if we do start running higher Monday Tuesday we could be looking for a Wednesday high um, if price runs lower then I'd be looking for a bounce off of this level right down in here and I'd be looking to see if there's any willingness to continue down to the 8890 level if not and we do see a bounce in this area here uh, we could see Monday Tuesday making the low of the week and then subsequently Thursday uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, making the high and, and potentially continuing up here. Um, and the other thing that could happen again, we could get a complete rollover from here. Uh, they may want, not want to pierce this high here again, and that could also be a telltale sign um, that um, you know Monday, Tuesday makes the high, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday could make the low and can possibly continue below these lows. So we'll watch for that to happen. The price is right in the middle of the consolidation range, unfortunately so it's there's really not a lot you can do it can break out one way or the other and right now this is not really giving us any signs as you can see here uh the liquidity was taken on the low side they ran it up they took the liquidity on the high side up here with that one candle that's missing on this feed uh they took the liquidity above here they dropped back down and they've just been sitting consolidating so really one way or the other uh, we don't really know which way it's going to go yet okay so we'll flip back to this one here and we'll look at the pound dollar 
Um, called a couple of highs last week. Uh, I wanted to see this 1.4000 level get breached. It didn't. It hasn't yet. And you can see it's just put in just perfect equal highs up here. It just keeps bouncing off that level there. Now, 99% uh, of the uh, retail traders out there are going to be looking at that saying, well, that's obviously resistance. Price is not going to be willing to go up there and continue any higher. Uh, so everybody sits and gets short uh, right at these candle wicks up here and, uh, and, and hoping price is going to start falling off. And then what all their market makers are going to do is they're going to run it down a little bit, give these guys a false sense of security, and they're going to slam it back up, take all of the stops up there, and then run it down. Um, so I'm still looking for this level uh, short term bearish um, I, like I would really love to see if they could run these lows this week um, and if they could we did see a bounce off of this level and so I'm calling these old highs back in here as a potential area for a bounce it may not even get that low we could just come down and sweep let me get rid of this data divider we could come down and just sweep this low right here as well too um, so that is uh, the other area too so this 31 uh, or sorry um, 137.10 level. I'll get actually the actual exact low on that. 137.10.9. 137.10, we'll call it. So if price comes down, and uh, I'd be looking for price to come down and sweep this level here. And again, we may not get down to uh, 136.55 down here, this old high. Um, we could come, we could even come a little bit lower. There is a little bit of confluence. See these, uh, the, the, the highs of these bodies in here. Uh, that is a very, very strong area of confluence right there where price really was unwilling to penetrate through in these candles. Uh, so we could see price one to return to that level, maybe, uh, but I wouldn't be expecting a dip that low. I would really just be expecting a sweep of this low here by, uh, 10 or 20 pips and, uh, and then a, uh, a continuation back higher um, so you know we'll look and watch for that but I, I would like to see these highs here taken first before they go down there um, and but you know what these market makers I mean they love to screw people obviously and so they may just start running price all the way down here and hammer it here before they jam it up so we'll just have to wait and see if the US dollar does what I think it's going to do this week and start running higher and potentially have a bounce into this area here and it doesn't have to go right up to these highs here but even anything over this 90 um, 87 level um, if it sees a rejection at that level that could be enough of a catalyst to push this down into here and sweep this low here and then if we do see that bounce at that higher level uh, lower on the um, on the US dollar then that would be uh, the turning point for the pound dollar and it could start running higher. So we'll watch for that this week. Um, there's, let me just actually take a real quick look at the news events on the week and let's just get kind of a real brief idea as to what day we're looking for uh, some entries on the pound dollar and uh, see how the news is looking on. I'll just bring this over here. So on Monday, um, it's all Aussie news. A little bit of pound dollar, uh, uh, sorry, pound sterling news on Tuesday. So we may look for Tuesday, Wednesday setup. One of the two. I would imagine we'll probably get some pretty good movement on on Tuesday. Um, so we'll probably be looking for a trade on Tuesday, a setup um, in uh, at the London Open trading session, which is typically what I do. Um, I'll be analyzing the pound dollar again, and we'll be watching for a setup uh, trade there. And then there's a ton of news on Wednesday as well, too. So we should get some good movement. Uh, but however, just keep this in mind, though. Uh, FOMC is out on uh, Wednesday the 21st. So we've got to be very, very careful there. Uh, we do not want to be trading this day um, past uh, 5... Uh, yeah, pretty much... Uh, well, it's not till 10.30. Markets will probably be just be going sideways for the most part. Uh, for the majority of this day, which is kind of why I'm thinking that Tuesday would be the better setup day for the pound dollar. Uh, but again, we'll analyze that on Tuesday's live session. So, uh, but just keep that in mind. Do not be trading on Wednesday uh, because it is FOMC and, and we could see some very, very volatile swings on that day. Uh, okay. Bitcoin quickly. Um, so we did see some nice continuation. Let me just get rid of some of this stuff on the chart here. I was calling lower movements in Bitcoin. And that uh, that 
as you can see, came to fruition. They still did not want to sweep these 12,000 levels up here. Um, so they're going to leave that intact for the time being. And they're going to start running this thing. And they you know, started running this thing lower. Now, um, I had said earlier that sort of the line in the sand was going to be the middle of this down candle right here, which comes in at about 7,500. So far, they've been unwilling to uh, penetrate that level. Um, but we got to wait and see here because it's early in trading. Price just filled this small gap. Uh, this is Sunday's, Monday's trading here. And you see price gap down. And then uh, it so far has ran back up and closed the gap. Um, I honestly like this, these areas up in here. They, they really did a good job of leaving price um, not so much in here, but more so in here. Um, there's a nice area right above this old high right here. Um, that I believe people are jamming their stops up into. So don't be surprised if price runs up into there, okay? And if this consolidation area rate in here gets broken, then they're going to want to seek liquidity higher, and we could even run up into these highs here, and maybe even potentially this swing high up here uh, could get ran, because again, there is one more small little area right above this high right here um, that uh, I, I kind of like as well, too, uh, for them to grab liquidity at. But that is quite a ways away. Um, so we'll have to wait and see that, but that is definitely a big, big gap, uh, void in price that I think, uh, uh, could be a potential draw on, on, on the, uh, on the price of Bitcoin. So we'll have to see what that does as trading develops a little bit further, but I would expect this to run a little bit higher before they dump it. Um, now long term, obviously I've got these lows marked out, but I got to see that 7,500 level broken first. Um, we could see a bit of a bounce and these are those two levels that I marked out on the chart So we'll see if this one here first gets violated if it does then we'll be looking up to here uh, And then price may want to roll over from there um, or just continue rate from it, its price, right? It, it closed that gap so it could just start to run south now um, So we'll, but we will see that happen um, more and so into Monday's trading and we'll be looking for a setup um, If price does want to let's run down to an hourly again Price does want to run this high here. I'd be looking for a quick wick up rejection and then getting short on there. So uh, all of our members, as that happens, if that happens, you will get an instant notification to your uh, to your phones notifying you of the entry uh, on this trade. Uh, same type of idea on Ethereum. However, this one here has not filled that gap yet, so I would be expecting this to run higher um, in the interim. And then again, um, I'd be looking for these highs up here to get swept, taken, and then for a continuation lower. If these, uh, this consolidation in here gets broken, then we will again be looking for uh, higher prices up in here. But they've done a pretty good job at running this thing down. Um, there's not too many uh, areas of uh, resistance up, or sorry, of, yeah, resistance levels. I'd be thinking that they're going to come all the way back up to you. That one's pretty high. I don't really necessarily think they're going to want to come um, up above this guy here and uh, this one here this price action here has been filled in very nicely um, and then there's another one right there that high there um, there could be orders stacked up in here so really this would be a pretty significant resistance level rate in here um, but I wouldn't mind seeing price close this gap here and then trade off of one of these levels in here and then continue to roll over. So I'll watch for that. Again, that's going to take a little while. And there's no sense in taking a trade now. It's uh, For me, it's um, Sunday. It's almost, uh, it's almost Monday. Um, it's always best to watch Monday develop first uh, and then stack your trades up uh, from there once you get clear market direction. So crude oil. Um, crude oil has just been an ugly little chop here really uh, it, it's really putting in an area of support here and again same type of thing I think it's a false area I think they're gonna come down and they're gonna run those lows uh, right here and they are doing a good job at not coming down and breaking this uh, consolidation level in here so what I'd be looking for on crude oil is price to dump off here and put in one last wick and potentially trade back into this consolidation area, reject and go higher. Now, if they don't even bother doing that, um, I would be looking basically for price just to come down just a little bit uh, into this area right here. And that comes in at um, basically this candle high right here is what I'd be looking maybe even into there. So about 61.50, um, somewhere in right around there, 61.50 to 61.40. Uh, I would be potentially looking for or uh, looking for a potential. Come on, 
necessary. I'd be looking for a potential bounce uh, somewhere in that level if price wants to continue uh, to run lower. And that kind of comes right back in this consolidation range here. If this gets broken, then again, I would I would be looking for these lows here to get violated one last time. That, again, they kind of use this as an area of, of support. Um, and I think that's a false sense of security. So I'd like them to just see, rip it down one more time and run it back up. But we may not get that, so I will watch for this. Um, transpire uh, as the week goes forward so if it uh, if, I, if we come down to here and I see price starting to get weaker and just kind of starts to wick I may put out a, a, a signal to get long and we'll be looking for these highs here um, and, and here to get uh, uh, a target off so we'll watch for that and that's pretty much going to wrap this up there's nothing in copper um, there was only one thing I believe in orange juice that I was looking at I was looking for price to come down here and you can see my uh, notes on here that I did on Friday uh, so we will watch for this to transpire. Nothing on it yet until price gives us good, solid confirmation that it wants to reject. Um, and if it does that, then um, we'll get all over that with a signal. So that's it, folks. I hope you had a great weekend and are ready for the trading week uh, ahead of us. And we will uh, get back to you in the way of a live session um, at the London Open on Tuesday morning, 12 a.m. New York time. And uh, only because of that news that's coming out, I want to get in on that. Otherwise, I would do a, a New York live session. Um, and then FOMC on Wednesday, so definitely please do not trade uh, before F uh, during FOMC. You can get your trades in before you know the news comes out, uh, no problem there. But uh, more than likely, it's probably price is just going to be sideways um, up until FOMC is, is typically is, and so it's not going to be conducive for a, a high probability environment anyway. So uh, more than likely, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Friday will be going to be the trading days. For the week so there should be a little bit of volatility so it should be a good week but we will watch price especially on the US dollar to see where it wants to go if it wants to get up here or indeed come back down and break these lows here continue lower so uh, we should get a good gauge of that um, via FOMC on Wednesday so with that thanks very much everybody hope you had a great weekend like I say and uh, we'll catch up to you on uh, Tuesday uh, morning at uh, 12 a.m. for the London open session thanks guys